Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. Oh wow, so where am I? I am in a hotel in Townsville. Um, I flew up this morning. I am looking at the boat tomorrow morning. So um, I feel the weight of responsibility because Gav isn't here, but I'm gonna FaceTime him from the boat and then um, we will go over it together so he won't miss out and I need his expertise and all that sort of stuff. But I just went, it's literally like a hundred meters from a hotel where it's sitting. Like I can see boats in the marina off my balcony, which is crazy. Um, and so I thought I'll go for a walk and see if I can find it. Make sure it's not like a um, cat, I'm not being catfished and there is no boat. Um, but there she was sitting in the marina and yeah, she looks great. And um, you know, she's about three deep in, so it's a bit hard to see from, you know, where I was walking along the road um, kind of thing. but. Um, yeah, pretty excited to see her. I'm not sure how much I'll sleep tonight, but, um, yeah, for really fingers crossed that this one looks really good tomorrow. And then, um, if it all goes well, we will discuss prices and I've come up with a boat contract and, um, a receipt for when we leave a deposit and I've already lined up a surveyor as well. Um, if tomorrow goes well, so it's just a matter of then I've got to find out when the um, marina can haul out ready, if it lines up with the dates that the survey has given me. So from a geography perspective, for those of you that are not um, Australian and familiar or familiar with, you know, this country is enormous. So I'm in Townsville, which is far north Queensland. We live in Brisbane, so it's about a two hour flight to get here. It's, if conditions are good, it's about a six day, day sail to get it back home. And that's, we're just still in our state, you know, like wouldn't have left our state, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, we've been quoted $6,000 for someone to bring it back for us, um, which is just a lot of money. Um, so yeah, we're hoping that we can, um, Get this guy to bring it back with us and then we can learn from him and he'll know all about the boat um so yeah it's a few things to discuss with him tomorrow so um i've messaged him when i got up here and said like i'm here what time suits you in the morning obviously i would have been happy with like 5 a.m uh he said 9 30 so <laughs> i reckon tomorrow morning is going to be dragging i'll go for a walk and see if i can spot her again um but yeah so 9 30 tomorrow morning I was thinking about going and having dinner at the yacht club and then I thought, you know, like we've FaceTimed him and he knows what I look like and it might just look a little bit stalkerish. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Um, anyway, so yeah, 9.30 tomorrow morning, I will um, see him and uh, yeah, I'll be FaceTiming Gav so I won't be able to film that, um, but I'll try and get some photos of the boat and everything as well. So um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. All right, guys, this is uh, a very excited me, 100 metres from potentially our new home. Okay, see you, bye. Okay, so here is the map of Australia. It's part of this giant map of the world that I bought for Gav. I literally gave him the world. Um, another of the things that we don't know what to do with when we leave here, because this is about two metres wide, this thing. Anyway, back to the point at hand. This is a map of Australia. 
Here is the state of Queensland, best state uh, in Australia by far. Winners of the state of origin, New South Wales, suck. Anyway, this is the state of Australia. We are here in Brisbane and the boat is here in Townsville. Um, so it's about a six day sail to get back here to Brisbane. And so you've got some idea of where it is. Great Barrier Reef is all out here. Um, so six day sail, day sail from Townsville to Brisbane and it's a two hour flight from Brisbane to Townsville. Good morning. Um, yeah, I've been awake for a really long time. I think <clears throat> I woke up on an awful night, which isn't unusual for me in, in a hotel, but um, from about 3.30, I was thinking about boats. So I went back to like our favorite YouTube channels and I've been watching all of the episodes where they bought their boat and went and looked at their boat. And Obviously, that didn't help me to get back to sleep. So, um, yeah, it's been a... I feel like... I don't know what time it is now. Hang on, let me have a look. It's quarter past six. So, um, just had a cup of tea. I think I'm going to need about ten more cups of tea. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> go for a walk and get brekkie and then come back and get changed, ready to go to the yacht club to... Have a look at the boat. So very exciting today. Um, yeah, just fingers crossed. I've just got this, you know, you always have this feeling like I'm really excited, but what if this doesn't work out? And what if there's something that it's not what we think it is? And I think especially after the last one and how it went down, it sort of makes you once bitten, twice shy kind of thing. So anyway, I'm trying not to let that creep in. Um, I'm very excited. Um, I sent Gav photos of it last night and, um, yeah, it's super exciting. I might give him a call now and see if he's awake. So I will update you guys, but we are actually three and a quarter hours away from seeing the boat. Bye. <laughs> T minus one hour. So I'm thinking T minus 45 minutes for when I actually leave because, you know, I've got to walk 100 metres and everything. So I'll go at 15 minutes before um, and I'll get there 14 minutes before. It should take me about a minute to get there. Um, but yeah, I'm supposed to be charging my phone up. So I've got heaps of charge for FaceTime and Gab the whole time, but I'm very excited. So I thought I'd just do an update that it's getting closer. Goodness knows what it'll look like when I piece all this together, but <laughs> a million updates of T minus whatever time. Okay, see ya. Yeah, the see it, you don't notice. The like, side. Well, yeah, you can't actually see. Actually, from the top of the control panel, you can see how big it is there. I'll stand on the seat. Oh, yeah, that's like, a good idea. Thank if you. If I'm standing here, this is at the dom station. Yeah. It's like I can't. Yeah. Touch. But even standing, 
plate. That's, oh yeah. That's, that's the that's, highest part of the seat. That's so cool. So. Yeah. And that'll give him an idea. It's it's a thing because when you're really tall, I don't know what it's like, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> I'll just start a video up here for him. Uh. Um, pretty amazing. We've dreamt about this for, I don't know, 10 years or something. something. I'll even leave um, a pinch yeah. here. End of episode four, guys, and I'm still here by myself. Like, Gav's in Sydney. I cannot tell you how hard this guy works. Like, he would be the hardest worker that I know, and I can say it because he's not here. He'd hate me saying it to know that because he just thinks he just goes and does his job. But he works so, so, so hard, and I'm really proud of him. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with boating. Just a little bit of a plug for my guy. But... um. How exciting that we went and looked at the boat in Townsville, left it on a cliffhanger. How good am I getting with these videos to know whoop, whoop, what happened next? Was it another dud? We don't know. Anyway, um, we will find out all that happened in the next episode. Um, but I'm so glad that you're enjoying these. It's been a big week. Um, I have just been working on episodes ready because we go away in a week um, to Bali and hopefully diving with some mola mola. Um, so there's going to be some epic footage coming out of um, Bali. So I wanted to catch us all up um, on that. So uh, attempting to get all of these done while Gab's not here. Um, but I can tell you that... Um, Going up to Townsville and looking at the boat on my own was such a huge thing. Like it was an enormous thing to do. Um, I barely slept and I was so nervous. And um, it, yeah, it, I just had to do all the research. And, you know, because Gav's been working so hard, I wanted to be able to take that pressure off him because he's been you know, doing so much, I wanted to be able to say, well, hey, I can, I can manage this and I can do it. And he had so much trust in me. I didn't have much trust in me, but he did, which was lovely. And, um, yeah, so to go up and, and just be able to handle it all and understand everything. And thank you to all the people. I'm hoping that you're watching that know who you are, who, um, you know, we had to have a contract prepared to go up there that helped with, getting that sorted and um, all the ins and outs and the people that I asked a lot of questions and the people that I was just like, 
listen to me saying how um, nervous I was about, <laughs> about um, having the responsibility of having a look um, at the boat. But I can tell you when I walked up there and I met Dave in person, I shook his hand when I got there and I gave him a hug when I left the dock because he's just such a lovely guy. He really is a lovely guy and it meant the world to me to know that um, the person who we're looking at this boat with was just a really, really good person and that was very cool. Meeting new people is always a great thing and I feel like in this sailing life we are just going to make so many more friends um, that have the same interests as us and are really different and have had all these adventures and I think that those relationships that's going to be really exciting as well. Anyway enough of what I think um, I hope you enjoy this episode leave us a comment like and subscribe all the stuff you can follow us on Instagram as well it's um, Instagram our, our handle is sailing Astra the wombat so have a look over there we put up a few extra little bits and um, and that as well so if you're not following on Instagram go and have a look um, but enjoy your week guys smile because life's pretty good see ya <laughs>